Hello and welcome back into the FCS huddle. I'm Elliot Shaw and as you can see, it's Halloween weekend coming up and uh, we, I, am in, I am in great costume. We're up in my, my James Madison retro jersey along with my Nike wide receiver gloves and we got a good show for you today. Oh, penalty. Team Elliot, delay of game of introducing me. <laughs> oh, my bad. Okay, let me, uh, let, me, let me start back over. I'll take a few steps backwards. I'm joined by the FCS Senior Editor for Stats, Craig Haley, and we've got a good show for you today. Now, Craig, since you have your trusty whistle, I'm going to say some statements here um, it, it, with the FCS, and you're going to blow it whether you agree or if you don't agree. So let's start with this one. So number one, Jacksonville State is the best team in the FCS. Penalty. I think they're right up there, but I'd also say Illinois State should be number one. Okay. They've played a tougher schedule. I think Jacksonville State's been terrific. Uh, as have, having their best year uh, with a lot of talent. I think the OVC isn't quite as strong as the Missouri Valley. I go Illinois State number one. All right. All right. That's fair. And I'm wearing my Dukes jersey here. So James Madison, despite that loss this weekend to Richmond, uh, you know, they, they're still a winner this past Saturday. First down. <laughs> Even though they lost to Richmond, you cannot ask for more exposure than they got uh, yeah. with hosting uh, ESPN's college game, game day. Terrific crowd, terrific game. Unfortunately, they lost. Now, if uh, Vad Lee, if his foot injury lingers, then you maybe reassess mm -hmm. it, but I think they're a winner. And how about when uh, Corso came out of the, with the book and everything? That was great. That was awesome. It was really, it was great exposure. I got to agree with you there. All right, so North Dakota State will win a fifth straight FCS title with redshirt freshman at quarterback. Penalty. I think uh, Easton Stick had a terrific opening uh, uh, performance this past weekend at Indi Indiana State. I think if they're going to win another championship, they need to have their veteran quarterback, yeah. Carson Wentz, mm -hmm. back behind center. Hard to disagree with that. All right, there are five unbeaten teams entering Halloween weekend. There won't be any come the end of this regular season. Penalty. <laughs> I think the Ivy League matchup might bring us one. I okay. Mean, uh, Harvard hosting Dartmouth are both 6-0. and They obviously have to get to 10-0. and I think the winner there will, really can, can do it. Uh, the other teams, uh, McNeese, um, Coastal uh, Carolina, and Dayton, they have a chance of losing along the way, but I think we'll have a number one, uh, an undefeated team at, end, at year's end. Okay, and here's, a, here's one that we've actually talked about before on the show. Eastern Washington wide receiver Cooper Cup, will he enter the NFL draft? First down. <laughs> I think he is headed to the NFL. He's a redshirt junior. Uh, I think you want to strike wh wh while the iron's hot, and it can't be any hotter than, than Cooper Cup right okay. now. Okay. I, I, it's hard to disagree with that one as well. Rivals Montana and Montana State will be playing for a playoff berth on the last day of the regular season. First down All again. Right. <laughs> I, th I think uh, both teams are, are somewhat in trouble with another loss uh, because you don't want to have four losses going into that uh, matchup on November 21st. They're both four and three right now. Um, I think Montana's the better team. They, they have a tougher schedule headed there. I, I don't think they're both headed to the playoffs. All right. Well, there you have it. For more Halloween fun, everything FCS, be sure to check out the website, fcs.football, also on Twitter, at FCS underscore stats. And, of course, the referee man over here, Craig Haley. Follow him, at Craig Haley on Twitter. That's going to do it for us today. Thank you for watching. I'm Elliot Shaw. Have a good Halloween.